Hey guys, we're back. Jules has fun. I don't really think this is fun. I think it needs to be done. Okay. This is season one, episode two of my dreams and my journeys and the truth. This year, This year, sorry, this year, I'm starting at a new school. I've been so excited. You can actually say I've been hyped for about three months, four months. And I left. I left, I left a lot of my friends. And we all do at some point. And what I call the school I went to before. I don't like saying I'm old school because it's technically not old. But it is. It is. What made me happy. And I'm going to be happy again in this other school. With your help. You, all you viewers and all you subscribers, if you can help me and help me get through this moment, of what I like to hide from most people, but I tell you guys the truth and nothing but the truth. I am ready to move and I am ready to go and I have moved. So you guys saw my other videos and I'm gonna be posting another one of my semi mansion. I moved to a place closer to my school. I moved to an apartment, which I never thought I'd ever live in till I was like 20 and had to support myself, but you have to move while we're building our new house, a bigger and better one. Okay. And we just finished moving, so it's an emotional time right now. But what's even more emotional is that may not be the nicest person all the time and I may smile when I'm sad I may try to look happy even though we have tough times in our life and one of my dumbest times right now and I need your guys support and help is that I am, I am, I'm a truthful person. Let's start with that though. I'm a truthful person. Also, I just lost my last baby tooth, which is why there's like a blood mark there on my shirt. I gotta clean that, but just can't get it off. Um, that the point is I'm a very truthful person. <laughs> um, and I think you guys should know the truth. As I was growing up, I got bullied a lot. And not just by what I call colleagues, but by friends. I call them frenemies now, but I believe there's still faith in them. No, ma no matter what anyone has ever done to me, be rude to me, call me names, trash me in my locker, 
anything, no matter what, I will always forgive them. No matter what pain they caused through my whole younger years, no matter how I felt every day that I got back to school, even asking the universe when I'd ever make friends. And I am going into eighth grade this year in a new school. And I just finis finished seventh grade. And I just want to say that it was the best year I could ever have. I think I finally got out of my shell, was able to stand up for what I had to say, what I believed in. And I made it happen. I did what I thought was right every time, even though I second guessed myself. I just want everyone to know that even though I come across a little different, and we all have our off days, we all know that. And I'm sorry. And if it, if it was even if it was my fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> this year especially. During the seventh grade year, I have felt many, many emotions. Like when I was in third grade, I'd say I was the shyest person on the planet. Fourth grade, maybe a little less. But when I went to fifth grade, I definitely knew I grew because I was able to talk to people by myself without freaking out. And I want to thank my lovely fifth grade teacher not gonna say any names, but I'm gonna thank her. Without her, I don't think I would have the strength that I'm feeling since the beginning of seventh grade to start this YouTube channel. I want to thank her for helping me get through many tough moments. I felt I feel safe when I'm around teachers. You know, as people say, the teachers open the door to light, but you must enter by yourself. And I did that this year. For once. And yes, I'm, I like math, I'm good at math, but this year, and all the questions on my test were supposed to be answered as a negative answer, like an, the answer would be negative. I answered them into a positive. I forgot to add the line. I don't know what I was doing. But I've got, I got my first F this year. Even though my teachers say F is fail, which is first attempt in learning, I just can't imagine because all my other grades, I got one B plus, but my end grade, got most one B plus and I've gotten all A's my last trimester grade. Now all the feelings I'm feeling right now and I don't know why but I am is that I miss everyone that I went through in seventh grade with. I think it was the best year of my life. And what I've gone through far, so far, it has been quite a journey. I remember also another memory, fifth grade, is when I, when I got pulled out of school in the stretcher. So I'm allergic to nuts and you guys may know that. I I ate some food that had nuts in it and I didn't know that it did. And after a few seconds, 
I felt to collapse. And it gave me so many, mem many memories back, including this year, when we all, I was fully back in, for seventh grade, fully back in person with masks. In this year, I've never felt this much pain before. My breathing, as I have asthma, got so bad. I know most people do carry inhaler around, and I do all the time, but I've had to carry so much breathing inside because there were classes where I just wanted to cry and I couldn't breathe. I didn't want to disrupt anyone's presentations. I remember this one presentation. I know everyone stayed there and waited while I presented mine. So I decided to wait while they presented theirs. Even though deep down, I felt like every piece of oxygen in my body was gone. And I was close to right. I was having my first asthma attack. I used my inhaler, but it didn't work. So my doctor gave me a steroid inhaler that I took. We had this overnight in seventh grade that we put together as a class. It was just at school because there's COVID and everything. And because of running around with a mask, and this happened so much this year in seventh grade that every day, maybe any day that I vlog for you guys, almost every day I've collapsed on the ground because of an asthma attack. I've never had these before, so it was kind of a new thing to me. And I collapse so much all the time now. And I'm scared for it to happen again. But thanks to so many of my friends, this year, help me get through it. And I hope they know that I'm very thankful. My hair is heavy right now. I'm very thankful. So, I felt so much pain over the years, and I just kept it cooped inside of me. There were days I wondered why I was on this earth, why I was created. Days I felt like just giving up. But there was always a friend there that helped me get through it. the other day here's another piece of my life is that I took a bunch of blood tests and I might have this little it's like a disease that you get when cells come and sit in your throat area and they cause you to when you try to eat even the smallest little seed that when you try to eat it, you will, it will swell up in there and it will get stuck. And if, if I don't get this treated now, I, I, can't, I can't swallow anything in the future. I'm scared. I am. Now I'm out of school and it's summer break. I just want to cry all the time because I don't have those friends in school like I did during the year that helped me get through it. All the pain that I felt, all the collapsing, everything. 
and when I fall, it does hurt. My knees especially. I always I get stressed about all these things. These things that even though they make me who I am, and yes, there were, I did this year, because I've had so much homework, I spent about seven hours a day on my homework, usually about two during school, three at night, and about, about four in the morning, maybe about nine hours a day on homework. There are days where I just had to stop. And yes, I went to bed at 12 most nights doing my homework and I woke up at 4.30 every day to finish last letter essay or anything, but there are days where I feel like I want to give up, but I can't because I let down every piece of hope that's still in my body that makes me remember that you have friends. There's a quote I read when I was younger. It said, your friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they are always there. And I struggle with that sometimes because I believe that maybe, just maybe, I am alone. But thanks to all you subscribers, all you viewers, all you people who watch me, my journey, it helps, it does. And I feel your support, I feel it, it's in my heart. But there's a moment this year that hit me. But since I was little, you've been my first friend I've ever made in my whole life when I was in preschool. My first friend, and yes, people, not people, but there were others that laughed. Even though I'm a girl, my first friend wasn't a girl. It's a boy. I'm not gonna say any names. But this person gave me so much support. And when I went to new school in kindergarten, my new friend, I wouldn't call friend, but he was quite nice to me. It's also a boy. And I want you guys to know that my video's coming up that when I'm a girl, I love being a girl. There are times where I just wish and let myself free. And I do act like kids sometimes. Truth is, I play baseball and my mom doesn't allow me to spit on the mound anymore. She says it's a non-ladylike thing and I can understand that. But <laughs> ever since the end of seventh grade, something happened. That second last day of school, one of my friends, the boy, he did something that I don't feel was right, but I forgive him. I forgive everyone because I don't care. Just as long as they're my friends and they believe in me, I don't care. Yes, you do need to apologize. <laughs> Sorry. But I know that he is a very nice boy. I know all my classmates are very nice kids. I love the girls. <laughs> so funny sometimes. So the boys too, though. Today I played in a tennis match. Lost by one point six to eight sets it was fun but you know and i played doubles so you know i see so many people from from my whole life i see them at tennis and 
Can you just remind me of myself? See, when I play with girls, I change myself. I'm not who I am. I try to act like them, so they accept who I am, even though who I show, it's not the real me. But when I'm in boys, I can be free. I can, I can act like myself. Although yes, I love doing my makeup sometimes. I love getting dressed and fall for heels. If I had 35 pairs of sneakers, actually I think I'm 37 now, but I have almost 40 pairs of sneakers. Besides the point, but I just want all the boys to know, all the girls to know, thank you. Thank you for this wonderful year that no matter how much pain I was, you guys were always there to make it go away. I wish I could just get in t contact with all of them now. Because on days that I cried, and I don't like crying from my classmates until it's real pain that I actually feel. I use the bathroom. I don't actually use the bathroom, but I, I cry. It's okay to cry because you know what? Crying means you have the strength. It means that you are strong if you cry. So anytime you guys feel like me, like sad, unhappy about life, look to a friend. It's the key to happiness anyways. Yes, in my past days, from ever since I was in preschool to now, I like, I like, I mean, um, I like, I like some boys. I think I like all of them, though. They're so nice to me that, they're so nice. And girls, I know they're always my friends. But to be honest, this year, I had so much fun playing baseball with the boys. And I don't want to say any names, but it was fun. Basketball too, and soccer. When we do a boys against girls game, I'm always on the boys team. Also because they have less people and that makes me happy, makes me be myself. And myself, I'm a girl. But I like to play things like baseball, soccer. Well, these are also girls' things, but girls don't usually play baseball. Either football. My parents won't let me play football, but I'll prove them wrong someday. I'm going into eighth grade in this new school. And even though girls don't play baseball there, but they, and they didn't in my other school, I think I was the first girl I ever played baseball there too. But. And I never played Little League. I didn't. But I used to play, I used, I had friends when I was younger. Of course, they were, they were also girls. They used to cheer me on. I played on a soccer team. But I also played baseball, just like on the thing, the stand that holds it. My dad would play, would coach me. My friends would follow, not actually coach me. He would show me how to properly do it. The girls would cheer, and I played with the boys. I just want you guys to know, I grew up with a lot of girlfriends. I did. You know, girls that are friends and boyfriends, but not boyfriends like what my friends call dating, but I do not into that stuff, guys. Like, I am not that type of person. Uh, the truth is, this year, my friend did push me into something I didn't like. But, you know, that's besides the point. I decided this year, it's coming eighth grade, and then last year of middle school, going into high school, and the rest of my life, I'm going to do what I think makes me happy. What I like to do. I'm not going to listen to any girl or any boy to show me what is right. I'm going to do it. And um, I need your guys to work. 
Because my mom lets me play baseball, but my dad's not really the biggest fan. There are moments where he tells me, can I be like every other girl? Why do I have to make this big attention? But I don't. I like to be myself. Myself is playing baseball. So if you guys can like, subscribe, be a big help. You don't have to, but if you can support me through this journey, please do help a lot. I want to tell all the boys, my class, all the girls, especially the girls so through those really hard moments and the boys. I mean, it's an equal turn in there. Thank you. It's made me who I am today. Also guys, I'm dropping, I, I probably won't be dropping it till like next summer, <laughs> but I'm writing an album right now. I think you guys like it because I'm starting my music career, I'm playing sports, going to a new school, and we're doing a school supplies haul soon, so you better guys get onto that. And, yeah, it's my life right now. Everything I've been through. Thanks to the boys, though, and the girls. Thank you so much, girls. There are moments that were hard but you girls got me through it. And boys, there were moments that were hard and you guys got me through it too. I wanna thank you for girls that even though I don't always take your side <laughs> or ever, you guys were always there for me whenever I needed you. And boys, I hope you don't forget who I am someday and I hope that you guys will know that you guys helped me through the toughest times of my life. And I just want to say thank you. Well, that's the end of season one, episode two of my dream. And that's becoming who I am. My dream is to become myself. And myself is so many things. To be honest, I want to be an archaeologist. I want to be a singer. I want to be a dancer. I want to be an actor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be so many things. I want to be one of. I want to play real girls football. I want to play baseball. I want to do some wrestling. <laughs> Maybe not much of this wrestling. I want to ice skate. I'm learning how to play the skateboard soon. And I roller skate already. I'm almost there. So, thank you guys. And thanks for watching this video. If you want to, you can like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications, you know, if you want. You don't have to. Thanks for watching and listening. doesn't sound right. That's not me, guys, right? Bye. Oh my god, I never heard myself speak. Bye! Shoosh. Shoosh. I say shoosh. It's like, shoosh. Shoosh. <laughs> I say it all the time, so. Okay, I'm gonna work on this outro thing. Thanks for listening.